in this video i'm going to show you how to create 100 percent free consistent character no mid journey no chat gpt no leonardo ai no form of paid subscription that being said let's dive in we are going to use CapCut. i'm actually doing this using my android phone so you can use the mobile version of your CapCut to execute this open your CapCut. Uh, this is the home page of the mobile version of CapCut. Okay, click on test to image. This will take you to our workspace that is here. Here is the setting where you select your image type, the aspect ratio, and the quality. And here is our prompt boss. And in a while, you'll see the function of this. I paste my test prompt or test description to generate my base character and hit on generate. I will view the generated images to select my preferred one. You can regenerate if not satisfied with the images generated. Okay, I will select this, scale the image and then export it to use it as my reference. Now click here, select the image we just uh, exported, click on human face and click on add. Okay, we'll come over to our prompt. Okay. Our base character is now used as a reference for every other images we will generate. So now we'll assign and show to our base character. Hit the generate button and these are generated images. Let's do the comparison with our base character. So we'll head to our prompt boss again and change our action to walking on the street. And hit on the generate button. Okay, let's compare again between our generated images and our base character. Let's say in a classroom and see the consistency. And this prompt is for reading. See what we got. I'll write another prompt for a little beautiful girl with long blonde hair and uh, brown almond eyes wearing a pink dress and a fancy shoe blah 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 writing a new prompt and hitting on the generate button removes a reference face so we we'll create uh, a, a new base character and then use that as a reference for the next images we we'll generate and this is what we we'll have okay looking at this I don't want it reading yet, so I have to go through my prompt. Remove the reading that was on other side and then regenerate. This is what we got. So I'll go through and select the preferred one as my base character. Okay, I prefer this. So I click on it, upscale, then export. To reference our base character, click here and select our just exported image. Select human face and click on add. Now add some action to our prompt, I will say seated in a recreation pack and hit the generate button. This is what we we'll have here, you can compare the consistency. Let's say in a classroom and see the consistency in the generation. Now let's say walking on the street. Hit the generate button. Let's see the consistency. Here we we'll say riding a bicycle. Let's check it together. You may observe some of these images are deformed. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm concentrating on the consistency. If I am to use these images for a project, I will have to regenerate till I get a better image. Here is our generated consistent images for the added prompt singing a song. For the last prompt, I'll be adding reading to our base prompt. Okay, let's check the consistency together. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share.